Oh my god, take a look at this video. Are you looking to build a career in the cloud? Well, there are many options for you. You can become a solutions architect, cloud engineer, or even explore the world of DevOps. Subscribe to my channel Tech with Lucy for weekly videos to help you build your cloud skills and get hired. Wow, okay. I don't know about you, but that looked and sounded a lot like me. I mean, not 100% of course, but close enough. And honestly, I'm quite impressed. AI has really come a long way since tools like ChatGPT first came out. But it made me start to wonder, as a full-time tech YouTuber, how much of my job could actually be replaced by AI? And to what extent can I use AI to speed up my day-to-day -day work? Which is why in this video, I set myself a challenge. Instead of filming yet another video about how to land a job in tech or cloud, I decided to see if I could clone myself with AI. More specifically, I wanted to see if AI could do my day-to-day -day work for me. And no, I'm not just talking about generating a video or a script. I mean cloning everything you see. My YouTube videos, LinkedIn posts, and even the next app idea. And so if you're interested in seeing the results of my AI experiment, make sure you keep watching. I'll also be sharing some tips on how you can speed up your own work with AI, whether that's creating content, learning tech, or just trying to save some time in your day. Okay, let's get into it. So this might come as a surprise to some of you, but over 70% of AI users in the US still rely on ChatGPT as their main AI tool. And honestly, that's kind of disappointing. Why? Because it shows that most of us are only scratching the surface of what AI is capable of. There are now tools that go way beyond just answering questions or writing paragraphs. And so throughout this video, I'll be testing out a tool called Deep Agent, which I've heard great things about. It's built by a company called Abacus AI and it's part of Chat LLM teams. I've actually made a video about Chat LLM recently and it's sort of like an all-in-one AI workspace. Deep Agent is the extension of that, but instead of chatting with the AI, you're pretty much getting it to do complex tasks for you. Now, here are the three use cases I'm going to test out with Deep Agent. The first is using AI to make short educational videos, kind of like the one I showed you earlier in this video. The next is coming up with viral LinkedIn posts. Instead of manually writing every single post, perhaps I can use AI to help me come up with a winning formula. And third is building my next app idea, which I'm excited for you to see. All right, so here's the interface of Deep Agent. You can see that the interface is pretty minimalist and easy to use. There's a prompt bar for you to ask any questions and type in your instructions. And at the bottom here, you can see that there's a whole bunch of ideas. For example, here are some of the apps you can build with Deep Agent. They've just provided a few examples to get you started. So for example, a HR SaaS app, vibe coding a CRM, and even building your own mini Notion. Now, these are just some ideas and starting points, and you can actually ask the agent to pretty much build anything you'd like. You can see that it can also build short videos, AI apps, MCP and AI workflows, as well as you know PowerPoint and so on. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you a few examples of what I built. The first one you've already seen, which is to create a YouTube video of myself. So you can see that over here, I wrote generate a 15 to 20 second landscape YouTube video, pretty much explaining cloud computing. And I gave them a reference image, basically a screenshot from a previous video. Yeah, it took a bit of back and forth and they asked me a bunch of clarifying questions, but in the end, they were able to generate that video, which was really cool. Now, I guess the limitation is that it's not able to look 100% like me, but I tried to make it as similar to me as possible. I also asked it to generate me a vertical explainer video. So pretty much a cartoon character, woman in her 20s. By the way, this script was generated through chat LLM. To generate the video, what it's done is generate a few images as reference points and then also the background music and some video assets. So let's preview it and see what it looks like. What is cloud computing? It's computing services over the internet, storage, databases, and software. Instead of running everything locally, cloud providers like AWS. Okay, I'm not going to play the whole video, but you can see it's 40 seconds long and it was able to generate this based on the script and based on the prompt requirements that I had. Moving on to the second use case, which is asking AI to help me generate some LinkedIn posts. It actually did a pretty good job. I asked it to generate me five viral LinkedIn posts on cloud computing with corresponding images. And for the target audience, it's a cloud learner focused on AWS. I also asked it to have a call to action for people to sign up to my email newsletter, cloudbytes.ai. And once the AI is all done with that, collate it for me in a Word document so that I can easily refer to the posts and schedule them for the week. You can see that post number one is on AWS certifications versus actual experience. 
and yeah the formatting looks pretty good and it's actually pretty similar to what I'll usually have and the call to action is also here subscribe to my newsletter it's in a really nice format so I'd have no trouble just copy and pasting this onto LinkedIn I might make a few tweaks if I want to just to make it sound a bit more like myself but you can see that it actually also added some personal information like five years as an AWS solutions architect which I told Deep Agent about earlier this is the image that it comes with here's post number two uh, it's about an AWS spiel, post number three, post number four, and post number five. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the result. And I don't know, maybe you can let me know in the comments. If I posted this word for word, would you be able to tell that it's AI generated? Okay, let's move on to the third use case, which is also the one that I'm most excited to share with all of you. So what I've done is I've asked DeepAgent for some useful cloud ideas that cloud learners can really benefit from. And I put in brackets that you can help me build. So these app ideas, DeepAgent can help me turn them into reality. It asked me a couple of follow-up questions, but most of it I just said up to you. And and from there, they provided a few really cool app ideas. And my favorite one is this AWS Service Explorer and Visualizer. And so I've gone ahead and asked DeepAgent to build me this. By the way, I didn't say anything else to DeepAgent after this. It just started doing a whole bunch of research and then it started building the application. And yeah, let me show you the end product because it really blew me away and it felt too good to be true. So let's have a look at this. Preview, web page. Wow, I mean, if I asked you whether or not you thought this was completely built using AI, you probably say no, it's not. It's probably human made or at least maybe half built with AI. And as you can see, it only took me one step. I think the toughest part was waiting 30 minutes for everything to be deployed. But I just sat back, relaxed, and this is what it looks like. At the start, you know, when I first saw this, I was a bit skeptical. I was thinking, oh, is this just a cool front? Is it actually going to work? Let's have a look. If we click on services, you can see that it's categorized all the major AWS services by compute, storage, database, networking. And if you click show more, it tells you more information about the service, which is exactly what I had in mind. In fact, even better. And I really don't know what to say. It just really blows my mind because, you know, even just a few years ago, building something like this manually would take days. Like, you know, making sure that all the information was put in, all the research was done, and also just like categorizing everything and deciding on the UI. If you hired a web developer for this, it's probably going to cost a few thousand as well. And I think this is super helpful for cloud learners. There's also simple explanations, which by the way, I've never even asked AI for. It just did its research and decided what was best for learners. I personally really like this app and I think it has a lot of potential. Ooh, okay, quick note about pricing. It's $20 a month to use DeepAgent and they give you a limited amount of credits, but you can see it's actually a lot. I did a lot of experimentation on DeepAgent and you can see I've just used about half my credits. Keep in mind that I asked it to build a whole application for me and generate a few explainer videos. So if you're someone learning tech or just looking to improve your productivity, I would say that the possibilities are endless. But a few ideas I have for you is to use their deep research feature you can also build your own portfolio website. For AI apps, they also have a few other ideas like an AI resume analysis tool and building personalized fitness plans with AI. So after trying all three use cases, I feel like I've only scratched the surface of what AI is really capable of. By the way, you can try out the tool using the link in the description. But let's step back a bit. When I first started this video, the challenge was simple, to see if I could actually clone myself with AI. What do you think? Did AI do a good job? And will my job as a YouTuber eventually get replaced? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.